It's been nearly a month since that gyrocopter flew over the heads of people on the National Mall before landing on the lawn of the U.S. Capitol. And just a few hours ago, the pilot appeared in court for the first time since his indictment. Senior political reporter Scott Fillman is live outside the courthouse. He's back at the very latest. Scott, what happened? Well, Leon, things have gotten much more serious for Doug Hughes. Added charges and possibly up to almost 10 years behind bars is what he's facing. But you wouldn't know it by watching the 61-year-old Florida mailman as he entered court today. Oh, looks like if Doug Hughes is worried about what that infamous flight down the National Mall might mean to his future, he's not showing it. He calmly pleaded not guilty in court today. And after, I asked, would he do anything differently? Let me be clear. I'll never do anything like this again, but I would do it exactly the way I did. That's because in a way, he says, it's been a victory, bringing more attention to what he calls campaign corruption, the ability for big corporations to essentially bankroll candidates. I've always been concerned that I might spend time behind bars, and I'm not eager for jail time. I accepted the consequences of what I was doing because I believed it's critical that we return our democracy to the people. And his landing on the Capitol lawn likely will come at a price. While he said he's open to a plea deal, prosecutors so far aren't. They may want to send a message about the panic he caused. He has one too. Nobody else could do what I did and get away without at best being forced down, at worst being shot down. I highly recommend nobody try it. Though Hughes has his fans who today gave him a stamp of approval, so to speak. I don't know the artist. I got to thank him. It was beautiful. Well, Hughes is still barred from going anywhere near the White House or the U.S. Capitol when he is in D.C., only allowed to meet with his attorney and, of course, come here to court. Another hearing scheduled for next week. Live in Northwest Washington, Scott Thuman, ABC 7 News. Okay, thank you, Scott.